how to track the banking crisis. How do you know if something's happening with your bank? Start with the stock symbol of your bank. So if your bank's publicly traded, it'll have a stock symbol. You can type that into a sophisticated chart program like TradingView, or you can just type it into Google. So normally, a big move for a stock is like maybe 1, 2, 3%. Bank stocks have been moving in 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40% increments. You also want to try to look at a chart of your bank stock. Has it erased all the gains since 2020? Does it look like it fell off a cliff? Or more importantly, does it look like it's about to fall off a cliff? Right? If you need to get to the bank and you need cash or you're in somewhere like Europe where, you know, they use cash a lot in small businesses, you need to have cash on hand. This may be less about bank failures and more about a shortage of cash at ATMs and bank branches. Because I'm telling you right now, folks, I was in 2008, and as I've been saying on my YouTube channel, Crypto Noble, these crises don't get resolved in a day, a week, or a month. So Silicon Valley Bank and Silvergate kicked it off, but now it's spreading. Wells Fargo needs to raise $10 billion, Credit Suisse, Italian banks, a French bank, all in trouble this morning. People trying to take money out. They've made bad loans to real estate, both for buildings and houses. So it's like the perfect storm. So again, if every big mistake starts with denial, don't be in denial about what's happening to your bank. Check the stock price. The stock price is down 10% in one day. Well, then maybe you need to go to the cash machine. Maybe you need to go to the grocery store and buy a gift card. Because if there's a shortage of cash or a problem with banks, at least you'll be able to get food. And just like a hurricane, you know, food and water in the house never hurts. So when you look at the stock price of your bank or other banks, so you can type in JPM for JP Morgan, SCHW for Schwab, WFC for Wells Fargo, right? BKX is an index of bank stocks. That means it's one instrument that follows a group of banks. Perhaps the best indicator for big banks is XLF. It trades on the New York Stock Exchange and it's a one instrument that follows all.